Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today we're gonna talk about a trick I use when designing my levels called snap mode. And if you're not using this, watch this video because it's like super helpful. This video is brought to you by the game I made with Buildbox called Ball Meets World. This game is available now for both iOS and Android. In this game, I use snap mode all the time to to help make my levels before I begin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe by hitting that bell if you haven't already. That helps YouTube and me know that this content is relevant for you. So let's get going. I first discovered Snap Mode thanks to Vlad and V, shout out, who joined me for one of my live streams. Check out my live streams, they're full of information. It's pretty much me nonstop talking inside and how to build and things I think would be useful for just learning and seeing how I do things. For snap mode, you wanna go up here to the top and view and select snap mode. Snap mode is the ability to have objects snap in place according to the world grid. And the world grid is up here where it says world right there. You can see the grid size here and I have it currently Currently set to one 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 that's XYZ and when I use snap mode I change this all the time depending on what I'm doing and this is really important because one level may be different than another level and how you create and design the level depends on your objective here is snap mode now I'm gonna move it to the right and like that this is, it just moves one grid space over maybe this seems like a big deal maybe this doesn't seem like a big deal but I have to tell you that this is a huge deal a huge 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 because I mean look at this level like this one is super easy right there's just a straight line it would be easy to select everything and be like go up here put it x location fine no problem, level one is easy because if you're making hyper casual games, you should have your first level be easy. But let's go ahead and take a look at level 42. Like this, this is not easy. This has got a lot of pieces and they're all over the place. Let's look at another example. Like this is, I think a really good example. When you're using snap mode, I change the grid size depending on level. Level 33 is different than level one. You can go here and change the grid size to four, four, four. And when you're first making a level and you're just kind of free flowing, just like what I recommend is just, you know, put something on the screen and then adjust it later. Buildbox has the beautiful ability to just copy and paste with ease. So here's another trick. If you like these tricks, don't forget to hit the like button below because it lets me know that this information is helpful. I also use this view, a line by Y, and that's just so I can get a top down view. Here, the A, W, S, D copy buttons are reversed. So I'm aware of this, but just in case you're not, select this object. And we can see it right here, okay, this one. And I hit D. It copies it perfectly, line by line. Look at these borders, they're touching, they're not overlapping. I can go in and I can like make this level however I want without worrying that they're not aligned, that they're off a little bit. Let me just show you the difference between snap mode and no snap mode. So snap mode we have now is on, like this, and then no snap mode. Sometimes I'll turn snap mode off, but when designing the level itself, I turn snap mode on. It's important to know snap mode takes the ability to create levels and speeds up that process for you. I used to just go here, then I would look, and then I would select the, all of these, and then I would like, okay, and then make sure it's at 12. Then I would type snap mode does it all for you like that. And it's important to remember you change the snap mode here at the grid size. If you found that useful, hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget the bell as I put out content daily. And until next time, peace.